now for some of our physical friends this conversation it feels a little troubling because it sounds to you like what we're saying is don't face reality that's exactly what we're saying <laughs> because facing reality just regurgitates reality now there's plenty of reality that you want to keep replicated in your life experience but you want to learn to be a more selective sifter so you want to keep the thoughts that feel the best and leave the thoughts that feel the worst that's the the and so the if it's a thought that doesn't feel good general 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 will slow it down if it does feel good more specific more specific more specific will will speed it up but you want to be discerning of which it is so the first thing that you want to do anytime you're aware that you're feeling any emotion is say good for me my guidance is really working this is really a good thing Esther loves driving she would drive all day every day if she could find a place to go and a reason to go there and she's pretty good at finding a place to go and a reason to go there and something to drive there in and so and all along many of the highways across the country are those little bumps along the edge of the road and she really enjoys m moving along and every now and again bump 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 especially when she was driving the monster bus it's big it wants to take up a lot of room bump 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 and she never took it as an indictment of her morality she never took it as a as an indication of of her worthiness she took it as an indication keep going in this trajectory and you're going off the road <laughs> guidance just guidance guidance that is easy to correct from and that's what your emotions are that's what that's even what all manifestations are about just guidance to help you to correct the trajectory but you do it with the power of your mind and you mold it by caring about the way you feel something more did we get there yes um, I guess t uh, related to that is falling out of an airplane your analogy with falling out of an airplane I do that pretty well and I'm well we like that analogy if you haven't heard it and if you if you haven't heard it where have you been because <laughs> it's the analogy that we use the most but it's like our physical friends say Abraham I have fallen out of an airplane and I have no parachute what do you suggest I do now and we say hang on it will be over in a little bit <laughs> and that's momentum isn't it? That's right. it and so sometimes there is a trajectory that you haven't practiced what you really want enough and so that trajectory is going to play itself out and will continue to play itself out until you replace it with a different trajectory but the thing that we so want you to understand is that you don't have to dig down and get to the bottom of those negative trajectories in fact there is no bottom because the more you try to figure out what's gone wrong the more the universe will reveal to you more evidence that it is going wrong law of attraction is just that way and so if you will accept that there's no bottom and so you will stop trying to get to the bottom of it but instead just take the negative emotion as the indicator and then at the best next best opportunity reach for a good feeling thought and what we're saying to you today is in many cases not every case in many cases the next best opportunity is when you first awaken tomorrow morning but it's a long time to wait yes. but it is the next best opportunity so once we convinced Esther of that she didn't want to blow it for the day right in other words she wanted to get there she wanted to acknowledge that she was there and we're not talking about bringing yourself to bouncing off the wall enthusiasm we're not talking about getting so high that you want to go out screaming into the woods your appreciation of all life we're not talking about that kind of momentum there's usually not that kind of momentum first thing in the morning we're just talking about we're just talking about having a feeling of satisfaction a feeling of well-being a feeling of right place right time a feeling of isn't this a nice day a feeling of, of at one with the universe a feeling of appreciation that the Sun is is uh, coming around whether you can see it behind the clouds or not a, a realization that the earth is spinning in its orbit and all things most things that are important to you are really 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 in a good place and that everything is working out for you just make those general statements to yourself find someone who's easy to love and focus on them or find something that you really appreciate and focus on that or find something that doesn't have much dynamic in either case and just focus on that in other words sometimes Esther will just take a notebook and draw a room and move furniture around in the room just to see how it looks on paper just for fun 
not for any reason except that as soon as she gets back to the property there's a desk she wants to move into the guest house because it would be much more comfortable she realizes there's no place to really get ready in the guest house and there's a guest there with no place to really get ready and so she got out her notebook and had the best time just drawing a place for a guest to get ready in the guest house you see what we're getting at mm -hmm. now it might not seem like life-changing things but anything that occupies your mind in a way that feels good to you means you're in vibrational alignment with source energy so you can hold yourself steadily 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 on things that don't feel very important to you and in that steady 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 place of non-resistance about things that don't feel very important to you insight comes about things that do feel very important to you but you can't get to very important things that really feel good to you from an awareness of the very important things that you want are not happening in other words there's too much of a vibrational gap where if you start in the middle not feeling particularly bad or good and reach for feelings of satisfaction as you maintain that sort of momentum what begins to happen is thoughts begin to flow and isn't life made up of day-to-day -day lifetime experiences aren't they the conversations isn't it the day-to-day -day movement that makes up the majority of your life don't you really want this moment to be one of satisfaction rather than distress don't you want this moment to be one of clarity rather than confusion don't you want to feel humorous don't you want to feel light-hearted about life and about others don't you want to feel eager about what you're doing or interested in your day? Don't you want to feel interested in whatever it is that you're watching on television or reading about? Don't you just love the feeling of energy moving? Don't you know those feelings that we're talking about? And we're wanting to remind you that this is source reading with you, source watching with you, source speaking with you, source creating with you. In other words, you're just not happy doing it alone. And yet you have relegated yourselves to doing it alone because somebody's convinced you that you got to prove your worthiness, which means you got to get off in the corner by yourself and you got to prove what you're made of, which means you got to prove how much you're willing to suffer in order to get to the good stuff. And we say, you know, get to the good stuff through suffering. You get to the good stuff through savoring. You get to the good stuff through, through reaching for thoughts that feel good to you. So the fact that even a couple of times or more than that a day that I'm falling out of an airplane again, I don't need to get irritated with myself. I can just say, here I am. And maybe every time I can catch it a little sooner so that I can maybe not fall all the way well, down to the ground. Well stated. You just get better and better at this. And as our friend was talking about this being tethered to this high flying right. disc, we want you to understand this bungee cord is really resilient. And, and really, when you think about it, you are eternally tethered to this vibration of well-being. In other words, you just can't separate yourself from it. You are eternally tethered to this vibration of well-being. And so, so what if you find a thought that doesn't allow you to be there? How are you going to know it? Have you ever, have you, can you imagine a sculptor taking a big clump of clay and just splatting it on the table and then complaining? Well, I thought it'd be better at this. <laughs> I don't like that at all <laughs> or can you imagine an artist with his first paint and brush sort of trying to make something of it and don't don't you want to mold it into place and so when you begin to consciously and deliberately mold the energy can't you give yourself when a child is learning to walk and falls down you say get up you little dummy or you don't say that do you you expect to be able to find your balance and that's all we're talking about give yourself a break chill out don't ask yourself to be on the high flying disc when this is the first time that you've really even focused upon it it makes sense to you you're feeling resonance with it but you haven't been practicing getting there and staying there you've been practicing observing what anybody's going to show you and you've been trying to gravitate toward things that feel good that's why you choose the friends you choose and the programs you watch and the books you read we know that you are wanting to guide your life you've just never guided it with this sort of infinitesimal care and attention and understanding but you've never understood about vibration before you've never understood about the power of leverage that comes from alignment and now that you are understanding that you can't go back Jerry and Esther used to say quite often we should change the disclaimer that you sign that lets you know that you're going to be recorded maybe videotaped and it might show up somewhere and and by the way you can't go back <laughs> once you understand that you are vibration you will never be able to not understand that again because you felt resonance with your source who has known it and wanted you to know it and if we've said it in a way that you've heard it now you know it and you can't go back from that 
Now that you know that you are the creator of your own reality, you cannot go back from that. You can never again blame someone else without knowing uh, it's not really your fault. We just rendezvoused on the honorary disc and here we are together proving to each other where we are vibrationally. That's all that's going on here. It's not an indictment of our soul. It's not an indictment of our cleverness or our clarity. All it means is we just rendezvoused here because that's where we had our tuner tuned to. So here we are enhancing one another's experience right here where we are. And so once you begin to acknowledge that when you wake up, it's your best chance and you go for it and you accomplish it and you get some momentum going. And then the results of that day are better than any days that you've had lately. Then it makes you sort of kind of want to do that more often, you see. And if you fall off, which you can't really fall off because you're eternally tethered. But if you're dangling down in there and in the yucky stuff, just laugh about it. This is just old stuff that I got going on. Does it have anything to do with, with what I currently know? I'm just still in the practicing phase of this. You'll get so good at it. It won't take hard work after a while. And even though you get really, 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 really good at it, there's always going to be something that'll take you off, but your resiliency will be the factor that gets better and better and better and better and better. You're never going to reach the place that you can look right at something that you e really eternally do not want. You're never going to be able to listen to someone hating out loud and getting you in on the dialogue and not feel the ramifications of that disconnection. You're never going to feel good when you hate. You're never going to feel good when you criticize. You're never going to feel good when you make fun of someone in a negative way. You're never going to feel good when you do that, but you might be like a lot of people who have soothed yourself into that being all right. But those days are over folks because once you find resonance with who you really are, you never feel good again. You'll throw your fits. You will, and they'll feel really bad and you'll bounce back from them easily. You see. And so it's really about how much airtime are you giving? How good do you want to feel? How much momentum do you want to get going there? How much do you want to hook up with this energy that creates worlds? How much clarity do you want? And then one day, soon you'll be moving through a day and instead of longing for things to change out there big things like the lifetime the vacation of a lifetime or the relationship of a lifetime or the dream house or the dream car instead of reaching for those things that feel way out there you'll realize that you're walking around in a sort of magical seeming dream from anybody else's perspective maybe even your own former perspective where everywhere you go things are just working out it's like the universe really has your back. It's like the perfect thought of clarity comes at the perfect time that just helps you to dovetail with this and dovetail with this and dovetail with that until it just feels like this magical ride where you say the right thing at the right time and somebody else says the right thing at the right time and doors are just opening and nothing breaks your gate and you just move with effortlessness with ease and flow and fun and agility and clarity and you just say I love my life I just love what's going on here I just I would like to stay Stay in this state forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and that's who you are that's the state you intend to stay in that's the state that is the most logical that's the state that has the most momentum that's the state that is really who you are and when you get to when you begin to sniff that out and practice it and hold it there will be no turning back for you you see and when that momentum gets going you'll be knocked over at the cleverness of the universe to keep you interested all day every day that and you put yourself in your bed at night and you think oh man can it get any better than this and you hear a resounding yes from the universe <laughs> yes not only can it it is just wait till tomorrow if you like today just wait till tomorrow and you wake up with expectation to see what's out there and there it is and there it is and there it is in the eyes of that person and the smile of that person the conversation of that person and the insight flowing into your own mind the rendezvousing that you begin doing with infinite intelligence as it's flowing through physical and non-physical alike all around you and you say now I get what life is about we're here for the joy of it we're here for the self-expression of it we're here for the expansion of it with infinite resources flowing to us and through us no shortage of any kind only resources to assist and to guide and to revel